chances are you have seen Fury Fighters video, the situation list, uh, and it goes over how to avoid Hawkeye's Gimlet attack. If you haven't seen it, go see that now. The link is in the description. Watch that first, come back here, then everything will make a lot more sense. I'll wait. Right, done waiting. So, let's get on with it. So, yeah. Fury Fire did a video on how to get around Gimlet. I play Hawkeye, and a young T'Challa once told me the strength in a strategy is dependent on if people know it or not. If you've got a strategy and everyone knows it and it still works, then it's a pretty good strategy. In my eyes, if they don't know how to get around it, it's just a gimmick. It's just a gimmick. That's just me though. So, obviously, Fury did find ways around it. Uh, I myself, obviously, obviously, have gone into how Gimlet works. I did plant the seed in his head to tell him that Gimlet's not that good. Uh, I still believe it's not that good. It's not like old Gimlet, anyway. So there was a couple of things where I thought, okay, let me find out, find out the weakness in it, how to get around my own strategy, and if I can make it safe, basically, because there are definitely holes in it. Excuse the pun. Uh, so I've got a couple of recordings. <clears throat> I'm basically gonna do what Fury did. I'm completely taking his style, even in the title. This will be called the situational situationist. Right, that's what it's gonna be called. I don't care. So, luckily enough, my pocket team are from Black Panther. Uh, they share one character that Fury does. He also plays Arthur. So, we are Arthur brethren. Uh, both play the little ginger man. So there's one thing that uh, I did find interesting with Arthur. It's quite hard. It's gonna take a couple of attempts, I reckon. But you can armor through the uh, Gimlet. So in Fury's video, he was going over like how it varies due to distance, uh, where it aims, aims towards your knees most of the time. Uh, and it's quite hard to get inputs out. So input supers. If you've got easy hypers or uh, an attack or a special where you hold down the button in the cutscene, you get instantly. But you can actually armor for it. So, like I said, don't know how long it's going to take me. Uh, hopefully, not too long. <coughs> wow, I did that a lot sooner than I thought. <laughs> I won't even have to edit that. Sick. So, right, there you go. There's the proof. You can also, I'm not gonna jinx it and say it's gonna take me ages again, but you can do this. You can surge with space and then do it. Why are you miles? Because it'll make it a lot easier for Arthur to punch because his dash is really garbage. Uh, yes, I know people will tag, but there is always gonna be a point in a match when there's only one character. 99% of the time, unless you get a happy birthday for both characters. But one character on their own isn't something that's rare. It happens. So, in the case of that, and the Hawkeye does decide to do a Gimlet because he thinks he has a read, this is a punish you can do with Arthur. In that sense, I'm going to say everyone can punish it if they do this. I mean, if Arthur can get to you in time, I'm pretty sure everyone else can. I could be wrong, could be wrong, but I'm going to go and limb and say that. So, let's see if I can do this. So let me put my inputs on, actually, uh, so you can hear and see the mashing. Lucky guys. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the surge in the cutscene. You're gonna see Hawkeye get uh, pulled forward. Then the armor's gonna come out and then I'm gonna get punished. I'm not gonna do a proper combo because my my alpha can only play for full screen. I, don't, I didn't learn combos. I just learned how to put stuff on screen. I'll leave that for theory, but this is what you can do. So let's see if we can get it. Second attempt again. Well, well, well. 
Not the second attempt, but close, but close. Uh, so, there you have it. Use the uh, surge, there's enough time to surge and get an instal super in after the flash. Obviously, like I said, I was holding Storm on the cutscene of Gimlet, uh, <coughs> so it come out instantly. I guess the surge attraction comes out really quick. Uh, so that's, that's pretty cool. That's interesting. I mean, this is all on the ground and Marvel's not really played much on the ground unless your character demands you to do that. Uh, but that is a thing to do, especially if you've got like, you're against the Hawkeye on his own. Jumping isn't the best thing to do anyway, really. You want to kind of stay at this sort of range, just walk, block, walk, block until he gets to the corner. Jumping makes it easier for him to escape by dashing underneath you and scatter shot is a nightmare where you can't when you can't judge where you are uh, whether your opponent is underneath you so that's the first thing uh, I believe yeah so let's go into the next situation right so the next situation in theory's video like I said go watch that if you haven't uh, then this is not gonna make any sense but theory found a way to basically punish Gimlet with the tank uh, I I think this would be a good way to stop possibly getting punished from the tag. It's going to be very character specific, but it definitely covers Hawkeye slightly, or it makes it harder for the punish uh, because light scatter shot doesn't go away on hit. You can interrupt it, but when he's let the scatter shot go, they're always gonna come down. They're always gonna come down in a specific spot from when he shot it. So if he gets moved from there, it's not really gonna cover him, uh, as you'll see. Uh, it lands basically in front of him, per se. Uh, but if he gets moved backwards, they're still gonna be landing where, where he shot them from. That's where the, uh, the target's basically set, from where he shot it, not from where he is. So, uh, Theory use attack system to punish the Gimler. Uh, you can double jump out of this as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna jump, see the Gimlet, double jump, tag, and I'll see what I can get on Hawkeye. And fingers crossed, the scatter shot saves it. Fingers crossed. So in that situation, it didn't actually help. Uh, let's see if I can make it so the Gimlet goes after Alpha and whiffs on Black Panther. Okay, that seems pretty safe. That seems pretty safe. It doesn't seem like, like I said, it's gonna be situational where there's gonna be characters that can beam you. Uh, there's gonna be characters that can put you in a hit, a hit state. So like grab or a hit grab, uh, which will obviously avoid the scatter shot, but it's something, it's definitely something. Uh, I'll try and work and see if there's a better way to make it safe. Uh, and the next recording is gonna be things that people think make it safe, but not really. It's just people probably haven't tested it, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we'll go straight to that. Anyway, so yeah, scatter shot makes Gimlet a little bit better. Obviously you can't do scatter shot when you're in the air. So Gimlet on the ground is a little bit better. You don't get the Gimlet when you want to. So if you anticipate a hit, by the time you've done the scatter shot, doing the Gimlet then, it, you might have missed your moment. But I would rather miss my moment and not get punished for it than to take a risk and get punished for it for being wrong, personally. So anyway, going to the next situation. Okay, so the next situation is the one that you're probably gonna see the most, which is surprisingly quite easy to punish. It's quite easy to punish. Like I am definitely not a person known for his execution and I get it pretty consistent. Might have just jinxed it, I don't care. I'm gonna say it, it's quite easy to punish. So this is the situation. The classic, 
Gimlet Tag. Now, I know you're thinking, well, I know what I was thinking when I recorded it. Venom's jab isn't that quick. Probably should have picked Spider Man, but this is my team. This is Hawkeye Venom. So I'm going to practice against my team. It might not be a 100% guarantee punish. It seems to work pretty well. I'm going to say it could be universal just because of how the tag mechanic works. Uh, but you'll see, you'll see why I believe this in a second. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to block Gimlet, uh, push block it, advance and guard it, and then tag. And then incoming T'Challa should punish Venom. That's what should happen. Let's have a see. Let's have a butchers. Didn't get it right. So that time I know, because I've tested it a couple of times before, I didn't get the active switch when I needed it to. I needed to do it earlier. And then what you do is you let the active switch rock. The incoming attack from the active switch will hit Venom. I've set Venom to mash P. Uh, one thing to know with Gimlet from this sort of range, when you do the active switch, the active the character coming in won't do the active switch attack because it's too far. They stop from about there, about here. That's where Venom's attack won't come out from the active switch, and then he has to commit to a button. So okay, let's try again. Got a trade. We get closer. We get closer. Push block too early. That happens a lot. Another trade. I lied. It's not consistent. There we go, finally. Got it, got it. That took me, honestly, took me about 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that consistent. Uh, however, I did find that something quite interesting. Uh, if I get a trade with the active switch, depending on the character, I'm guessing it's gonna be easier with other characters, uh, the trade's in your favour, just because of how advantageous the active switch attack is. Uh, it's, it's quite good. Uh, hopefully, it will be more consistent with other characters. It's, I'm upset that Kachala can't do it. I feel like he should. I'm going to put it down to my timing. <coughs> I did get it a couple of times. When I didn't just get straight beat out. Yeah, I think I definitely think some characters can do it. If he's light punches a little bit further, uh, I think he could definitely get punished. Oh, a trade, trade confirmed. Sorry. Anyways, so that is a thing. You can make it so much more easier for yourself if you make the gimlet whiff. If you make the gimlet whiff and you do an active switch, it's way easier, way, way, way easier. So it makes it way easier just because there's less blocks done to, well, by less, there's no blocks done. So what you can do is you can wait for the tagging opponent to come forward, then your axe switch should punish them if they try to do anything other than just hold down back. That's one of the scenarios that happens. The most common one from what I've seen. The other one is when the Hawkeye player tags before the gimlet. So now we'll look at the other side of the coin. We've just gone over obviously how you can get around uh, Gimlet when they take after it, which I said, that's what I normally see. Uh, that's why I have in mind, because I want to hit confirm the Gimlet, because uh, there's a lot of situations where you can just combo from Gimlet with Hawkeye without a tag. But what if the opponent tags before the Gimlet, which looks like this. 
looks a lot rougher. It's actually not that bad. It's actually, this is actually genuinely easy to punish. Actually, actually. Just in case you didn't catch how many actually's I said. So, so, a way to make this punish way more consistent, almost 100% guaranteed, is to purchase a hitbox. Because that's what I play on, and there's a really easy way to get around this situation with a hitbox. So, on a hitbox, uh, you can hold down, and tap up, and you get a super jump every time. Uh, you can use this to do dud jumps or hops, depending on where you're from. That's what they call them. So, yeah, it makes it way more easier. So, in the gimlet, all you do is you hold down in the cutscene, then you hold up. And you'll get a super jump, which basically gets you out of gimlet. It makes your jump too quick for the gimlet to uh, to basically hit you with the tracking before the super flash. So, uh, and with the tag, it makes it like work every time. Like this actually does work every time. Like no time required. Uh, don't know if I can jump forward and do it. If I can jump forward and do it, that would be splendid. I can jump forward and do it. Okay, so that works every time. On a stick, you might have to do more timing. Well, you have to do timing because you can't hold down and then hold up. So yeah, you're gonna have to time it. Uh, so it's about that. But for all the hitbox players, easy way out, easy way out. And what this allows you to do is basically punish Venom or the other character coming in from the tag with an active switch. Now the active switch, when they're running forward, they're invincible. So ideally you wanna jump forward because then the incoming character will basically try to catch up to the point character. So if I jump forward like this, Black Panther is gonna to wanna to run up to Arthur, and when he's probably in line with Arthur, the invincibility runs out, then he can get hit or press a button, etc. etc. If I jump back, it makes it I, I basically lose invincibility pretty much. So if I jump back, T'Challa won't run that far forward. Whereas if I jump forward and do it, oh, wrong button, he's a little bit closer. It's more for the invincibility, that's why you're doing it. So, <coughs> so that's the kind of punish you can get. Uh, pretty good. Hawkeye, obviously popped out but that's all going to depend on your team structure and what combos you have and your punish but the situation is pretty much the same Alpha, obviously one of the slower characters even he can get out of the gimlet from this is all obviously from max range from a little bit closer it's going to be varied sometimes it will work sometimes it won't depends on execution and obviously the distance there's some ranges where it just won't work uh, but for the most part that's something you're going to be able to do you're gonna have to be wary when going in on Hawkeye in the first place. So this will probably be a place where you're gonna find yourself at, where Hawkeye's trying to be full screen away from you. So all this tech, take it with a pinch of salt, uh, and obviously utilize it and see if it works well with your team. There might be even better ways to get around it, who knows. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video and get good at fighting games. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.